What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Dislight, and today we're going to go into Ritual Miracle. We're going to see, or rather, I know we've already done it, it took me a little couple tries, but we did get Kronos on Difficulty 7 done. I honestly don't know how many people have, it looks like there's a few that others that got 7 done. They got it done at a faster speed as well, they went more for damaging, wow, wow, look at Ryan Reynolds' team, look at all those 5 stars here, yikes, alright, uh... I don't know the name, but that was actually a very awesome team right there. No five stars whatsoever. And then there's me with a couple five stars thrown in there. So let's jump into it. I am, I think, going to stick with our more damaging. I was using her, but she pretty much gets one shot the second you get to the final boss. So this is the squad we're going to use. We got two actual natural five stars on the squad here. Oh, I missed the, I missed the robot button real quick. Oh, no. Okay, I got it. That's fine. We're, we're still good. We're still good. So, uh, a lot of these fights in the beginning are very easy. There's three waves in this one, so it does take a little bit to get through. And then you do come up to the final boss. We are just going to start pinging away at damage here. Oh, geez. That was, that was kind of close. <laughs> that was actually surprisingly close. Let's go over to the left side here. Take this one out. Let's just even everybody's health out. I like that. And then we can follow that up with a nice heal next round. A nice AoE heal should be topping everybody else up. Then again, we don't even need to because the end of round, beginning of next round heal was perfect to top everybody off. So let's go against the back row there. Take him out. We can actually pop this right now because we're going to be able to clear out this wave very soon. That means we'll have one whole turn against the boss, the Kronos boss, which should be fine, I think. We got a bleed there. Let's see if we can just ping him down. Ooh, that AOE is kind of annoying. I hate, I should have taken the front line out first. I really should have. Because that AOE is what weakens our team when we do fight Kronos. It sometimes becomes an issue. All right, so we're going to go all in. We're just going to focus on Kronos. Let our AOE take down the rest of the enemies here. Oh, please don't die. Oh, he's going to die. Or she's going to die. Ugh what i didn't want to happen but it always happens every time your first hero seems to be picked off we actually lost our healer too this is not great i'm hoping we can still do fine here usually our front two can do enough to get the victory on their own here let's just even their health bars out a little bit since they can heal in the front row i think she might die here though uh oh no we lost our main girl let's see Oh, it's so much damage in this. So much. But luckily, we do have our life leech set on him. So if anybody can do this solo, it will probably be him. I'm hoping we can. Because <laughs> uh, we might just die here. Because this is a very difficult level. Let's actually retry it. I want to try to line up our... I want to make sure we have more health going into the final boss. I feel like that's kind of what kind of screwed us over there. Let's just keep pinging away at these enemies here. Should we use the AoE this turn? No. Let's save that for the second wave to make sure we have it. Because this one's not going to do that much damage to us overall. The counterattacks are nice extra damage. My goodness, that was a lot. We'll have to heal her back up. <laughs> we'll have to definitely get her back up. Um, Let's start using Ode to Joy already. Man, I really wish we could just wait because I want to give her a burst heal, but I guess she'll be fine. Let's see if we can AoE him down. I don't want those front two to do big AoE damage to us, so maybe if we just focus on the front instead, this will be a good difference maker. Let's use our AoE here as well. Don't think we can kill him before he uses his attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a single heal there. Luckily, we have Ode to Joy up, so that does mean we're going to heal. I'm just going to use the AoE right off the bat to get that little bit of heal on her as well. Let's see. Are we in a better position this time? It feels like it, although we still might lose White Tiger right away. We still might. Um... We can even everybody's health out. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. I 
I think we're gonna try it. Just give a little bit of a boost to HP to White Tiger. Oh no, <laughs> Kronos is so strong. Like, look at that. He's just wiping our entire team out, not even getting giving us a chance here. So, I think I might drop White Tiger and go back to my triple support setup. I think that might be the better way of doing this. Like I said, I beat it once, but it was very, very difficult to get it done. Oh, we got the counterattack. It looks like it completely missed. I think we just wipe out here. Oh, no, we bugged out. Has you guys had this happen before? Just watch this. Completely bugs out as if we got the victory, and then it just locks you out. You can't do anything. It's really weird. It's happened to me a lot on the emulator. Big old bug. Waste of stamina. Feels bad. Let's try this again. Hopefully we don't get the bug to happen once again, but I think we'll be fine either way. Um, yeah, getting maybe those little bit of extra shields might be a difference maker. We are going to do less AoE damage, but I don't think that's going to be a problem, honestly. I just don't think it will. We'll find out, I guess. Get those bleeds rolling there. All right, so let's just start off. Let's shield our heroes. I love that shield. It works out very nice for us. Let's try to even the health bars out a little bit for our AoE. Oh my goodness, are you serious? You almost killed my girl already. That's not cool. Oh man, hopefully she doesn't die. All right, big AoE coming in. That's good. Let's try to focus on those front lines, like I said before. Get them because they're going to do huge AoE damage. Uh, yeah, let's just see if we can maybe... Oh, so close. I think we're going to preemptively owe to Joy here because I think they are, at least one of them is going to get the AoE off. So as the turns go around, at least we will heal. And then right here, we're just going to heal up our lowest HP here. Oh, she's still going to die, isn't she? She's still going to die, isn't she? Uh-oh. Oh, we got the kill. That's good. So maybe we can get her topped off before Kronos uses his active ability, his ultimate. All right. Of course, Mona, you're doing that attack right there. Big damage. We're going to get the AoE going here too. Get the bleed rolling. We can shield, which is nice. We can equal health bars out maybe to help a little bit. Is someone going to die though? Oh, she does die, but I'd rather her die than any other ally to be fair. The AoE here is not going to be bad because we do have our big AoE heal coming up. So that's going to top a lot of people off. She's still going to be a little bit low. Just a little bit, but not too bad. We can heal up more right there. We can use our Tai Chi to do more damage. We're down to close to 50% now. Let's just ping away. Now they're going to be able to attack. We do lose our healer. Please just not Mona. <laughs> just let me keep Mona for a bit. Let me get one more active with her and I think we'll be okay. All right. Let's get another AoE. Get those bleeds rolling on everybody. Oh, she had to skip her turn. No, she is totally dead. I think it's going to be down to just our main man here. Oh, she does fall and he is almost dead. I don't know if he can have enough HP right here with his couple attacks. Oh, I probably should have picked off the, uh, the little sentries that they have. Yeah, that's going to be too much. So this is very, very difficult. We're going to try it one more time. See if we can get this to work. Get this going, get this going. Looking good. It's unbelievable how difficult this is. Maybe we gotta like switch up the order of what we're attacking. Although we kinda need to kill him. I think he does AoE damage, so we just, just, just take him out. Let's just take him out. Use that Tai Chi. Bleed should kill over there. Let's go over here. Maybe save that Ode to Joy just a little bit. Oh, I attacked the wrong one. That was stupid. I could have killed both of them right there. Oh, well. Oh, well. It does mean our cooldowns uh, move because we do have the cooldown set on her as well, which is very convenient. Actually, you know what? I think I might have the cooldown set on both my three-star supports now. I can't remember, though. Hopefully we do, because that would be awesome. Nope, didn't work that time. Let's do Ode to Joy now. Ah, 
Wow, we didn't even pick anybody off this time. That's not great. This is not good. Lots of Oh, thank goodness. The bleed actually worked right there. Let's just go in with a basic attack here. Basic attack here because I want to get one more round off. I guess we're not going to be able to. All right. So maybe let's see what happens if we focus on these guys first. So these are what? Suppression. What do they actually do? Damages all enemies once. Has a chance to inflict stun. What is this? Purifies all debuffs from the boss and boosts their AP. I think that's the one we really want to try to take out first. Seems like the one that's a little bit more dangerous. So let's focus all of our single target over there. Let's do this here. Let's attack here. Everybody's topped off. I think we still lose someone though, right? Although he did his other attack that time. Interesting. So he didn't go for the big pillar drop one. He's got the, those two different attacks coming. He's definitely got that one. Launches a sphere strike against the enemy, then has a with the least health. Yeah, that's the one we care. We don't like. Exploitation is not bad. Yeah. Um. Again, we'll do the AOE here, but I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna focus on taking these guys out on the side first. Especially that debuff one. I just want it gone if possible. Even everybody's health out a bit. Probably not worth healing yet. Oh, this is the big one. Oh, okay. That's actually really good for it to hit her. Because she is literally one of the tankiest heroes we have. Let's go back in with some AoE to start working on that one. Perfect. Now we're just down to Kronos himself. We have everybody alive we can get an ode to joy off which even if she dies this round that should be fine for us but we can get a big heal nice that's almost a full heal for our sif everybody's alive i'll take it okay this is looking really good so yeah just changing up those couple of things the way that we initiate on the fight and taking out those extras there made a big big difference we're going to do a nice aoe heal Topping people off, get another active ability ultimate from Mona. And that's it. We got it cleared out. So yeah, you can kind of see how if you just prioritize going after those little guys first, it can make a big difference because not having debuffs on the boss was actually a pretty big deal. So there you have it. We got Chrono 7 done again. Now, 8 is just not possible. <laughs> 8 so far, like literally even the pre-boss waves just one tap all of my heroes. Uh, we can probably go into Apep, Apep, <laughs> I don't even know how to say his name. We haven't done seven yet here. We can probably try it in the next one, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments down below if you get that same uh, Kronos boss issue where he just dies and pops up and then you essentially lose all your stamina. Kind of sucks, but let me know. I'll see you guys next time.